guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be sharing with you how I do a full set overlay on my ratchet turtle toes yes y'all it was time for me to do these toes and I thought it would be best I've been wanting to try a full set on my toes for the longest and I finally got a chance to show you guys so um this is really really good for people who have like um discoloration in their toes and they just kind of want to conceal the actual color of their toes or they have broken toes broken toenails rather let me say that broken toenails rather um, I'm just gonna go through the whole process as if I'm doing this on my hand I actually pay a little bit more attention to the cuticle area because I had so much skin um in my cuticles so i'm just cleaning all that stuff up real good and i'm just gonna go through the whole process the same way i would if i were to do my full sets on my nails if you guys are interested in you know seeing these videos more often just let me know i'm gonna try to start filming myself uh do my nails um it is a process so <laughs> You really really do have to um, just enjoy and be patient with the whole process so y'all just excuse my ratchet toes they're not cute right now they're not perfect but we're gonna make them look so much better uh, I always have had a little tiny pinky toe shout out to everybody that has a tiny pinky toe <laughs> my little pinky toe has just really never really really grown in and it's always the one that gives me the most problems I've even had my pinky toenail just fall off completely and you know just not having a nail at all so yeah that's my pinky toe and on this toe specifically that toenail I broke it really bad so I'm actually gonna use a form to create a toenail I did that on both of my second toes they're longer than the rest of my toes, so they get a little bit more friction <laughs> than any other toe that I have. So I have a, I have like the most, if I have like a, a broken toenail, if it's not my pinky toenail, it's usually my second toe, my second turtle toe, I like to call it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be coming back with little tidbits of little stuff that I'm doing and y'all just like and subscribe comment and yeah enjoy the video So right here I'm taking my manicure brush, my plastic manicure brush, and I'm just brushing off the debris and the dust. I do use isopropyl alcohol to just kind of like clean the dust off and get rid of like all the last little bits of residue without just using water. I don't know, I just like using alcohol because I feel like it's a great um, dehydrator as well to me. Um, all of these products that I am using, like actually this nail clipper I left it in my sanitizer for way too long and it actually basically disintegrated it fell apart and you're gonna see the little bit of metal coming off of the, um, the 
nail clipper. So, yeah. <laughs> I left it in my sanitizer way too long. I just had a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, so all these products that I'm using on my toes. I use on my toes. On my skin. I do not use this on anyone else. Anybody else is curious. I know I, sometimes when I'm watching... Um, you know, nail videos. I am curious as to whether the technician or the person that's doing the person's nails is like do they sanitize their products. And I just do one at a time. So, um, yeah, all this stuff I use all myself. I actually don't even really do clients right now. I'm just doing, you know, my own nails. So when I do ever, whenever I do start taking clients, you know, of course I'm gonna be I use different products. Now, I use a lot of young nails. I love young nails, you guys. I feel like their products are so superior. They have, they're really good. They're the best products that I've ever used. And I've been in the industry for like seven years. So, this is the best. So, the best to me, I have yet to use, you know, like Valentino, Taylor Taylor, you know, other high-end brands. Um, so, you know, so far so good with young nails. I do want to branch out and try some different things, but I love Young Nails. Um, their products are just amazing. I actually got a chance to meet them. I went to Orlando back in the 1st of June, and they are really, really cool people. Um, and I just really, I just, they're just awesome when it comes to like their, their products. They're always thinking about the, um, the technician and what's easiest for them and you know what will work better and all this and that so um, I'm using their cover pink um, acrylic powder I love this powder this is my favorite that this powder is really good if you want to do like a French fade ombre or you know just like cover cover up any imperfections in your nail bed that you might not want to show people or you're you're not um, you're a little insecure about and you know this is one thing that I think is perfect This first toe, I took a little bit longer to do it because I have, I had, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I get the whole entire toe into those little crevices. I did actually correct this later, you know, with the file and just laid the file up underneath my toe and, you know, got as much out, as much toenail out of that as I could. I probably should have done that. You know in my prep work I did everything kind of backwards y'all but it's all good yeah so I'm just on a, I'm only gonna be showing you guys how I do one foot you know it's pretty much self-explanatory I did the same thing on both feet but um, I just didn't want to have to record you know the recording process of doing this y'all is a lot like it took maybe it took me a week to actually get everything you know set up just so that I could put everything together so I just did not want to have a long drawn out video of me doing both hands unless you guys are interested in seeing that y'all let me know <laughs> but until then I'm just gonna um you know cut it down a little bit so if you're like oh my god she's only doing one one foot then that's why
All right guys, so right here for my second toe, I am going to be applying my um, Young Nails nail form. Simply because, as you can see, the toenail itself is kind of like crooked. That's just how my toenail grows. These turtle toes, y'all, I'm telling you, this is like the issue that I have with them. So in order for me to correct that, I just had to put a form on there to kind of just want to I wanted my toenail to be even so I did this on both toenails for the second toe um, and the other toenail was actually broken I did not record myself fixing that but it's pretty much the same thing you guys I just applied the form the same way and I just filled in you know the little gap of where I needed nail so that is how I fixed that toenail So for my pinky toe, I actually did not notice that I wasn't filming it when I actually put the acrylic on the pinky toe, but I did the same way. I just put a little bit of acrylic on top of my pinky toe. You know, I didn't really try to perfect it or anything because I'm just going to go in with the file and just do the best that I can with that. It just grows funky, you guys. I'm just going to do the best that I can. And it actually turned out pretty, pretty good. So... I pretty much fixed my toenail over here I just fixed it um, I don't know if I showed you my pinky toenail but I just did it I went up in there just like I would normally go in there yeah so went in there like I would normally do all the other toes just got the bulk off of it because really I just slapped some acrylic on there I didn't try to like shape it or anything um, I did the best that I could with the shaping but you know so if you want to try this, you guys, it is possible. You can do it. Just be prepared to um, hunch over for a while. But it it really it came out really, really good, you guys. Um, this is the ceramic bit that I was mentioning earlier. They, I'm going to just invest in getting a ceramic bit, a ceramic drill bit kit. Because I just think that it, it actually cuts through the acrylic. I'm not sitting there holding it for hours and I'm not getting anything. I don't know if the, the bits that I've used in the past are just not good quality. But these ceramic bits are amazing. Like I didn't see any anything really, really start happening until I used the ceramic bits. Um, maybe for gel polish, I would suggest just using a regular... Um, metal bit so i'm just using some a good old-fashioned isopropyl alcohol here you guys and you are free to just polish your nails with some gel polish right here and just you know leave it like that but i decided to put some color on my toes because i just didn't feel like i got all of this coloration out of my toenails but 
I wanted to use some bright, pretty colors. So I love this C and D um, nail polish because the brushes on it are like wide and you know it allows you to kind of just cover your whole nail. So I don't know what the color is, but I got the color from the show for like 50 cents, I believe. <laughs> You see how it kind of just gave me an actual pinky toe? I was super excited about that, y'all. Like, if you don't have a pinky toe that grows right, then you understand, like, the struggle is real. It is real. Um, I'm not going to... I always clean up my nail polish after I've applied my two coats so that, you know, I'm not messing up anything. Um, I love this nail cleaner. And some nail foils and I'm just gonna ha I'm just going to apply the gel glue not gel glue adhesive glue kind of like a gradient effect I want like more at the top and it just slowly just come down from the side I don't normally put nail art on my toenails but I just felt like I should I don't know I just wanted to do something different I am in love with the nail foils because it gives you um it allows you to be creative without having to actually draw stuff. So I'm kind of like an abstract artist. I don't really, I don't really like to draw. I like to. I'm one of those people that like to just put some paint on there and and go and just see where it goes. A dribble, a dribble artist. If they can say, if that's what, if that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. A dribble artist. So it's really easy to apply if, you, if you've never applied nail foils. All you really do is just, you know, wherever you put the glue is where your your where your foil is gonna be. And you just press and lift up, and it's boom, just boom, boom, boom. boom. You also don't want to apply your foils until your nail polish is completely dry. I'm actually using a lacquer, a regular nail polish, so I'm not using a gel polish. So I had to wait until my toes were completely dry. This polish was completely dry. And y'all don't worry, I'm going to go in with some good old fashioned cuticle oil and just lotion up, lotion up them, them, them toes, <laughs> get some nice lubricant on these cuticles and these these dry toes so that's it you guys i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like and thumbs up and subscribe and let me know if you want to see more of these and i'll see you guys on the next video until then peace